Welcome back to the den. Our final visitor is mom inspired entrepreneur Agu Mba from Ebony State. I'm that young boy who grew up with his mother, helping her to say pop in the village. That was influenced and inspired by mother's, you know, hardworking spirit. That inspired me to venture into business. From selling pap in the village to pitching an app in the den, the 35-year-old entrepreneur has come a long way. My name is Awumba Ara from Ebony State. I am the CEO and founder of Lomba Swift Limited. We are raising 15 million naira for 10% equity. Lomba Swift is a delivery and mobile-based courier service platform that connects users who want to send items to our verified independent deliverer. And today, we have over 100 customers who are making use of our app, and they are very comfortable. So let me just do work, work you people through with the registration. The first thing is to upload, an, upload an image. When you upload your image, you put your email address, you put your name, your address, phone number, national ID cards. Then you also put link that will connect his or her to her uh, uh, social media account. Then for deliverers, deliverers will so upload the same information, but their own is quite rigorous. We do both physical and online verification for our deliverers. After registration, he or she will not add the item. It will impute the detailed information about that item and upload. The deliverer who is going to that direction will now, go, will now accept. After accepting that, he will bid because we put an algorithm. That algorithm calculates one, it calculates the distance, it calculates the weight, and then now give the deliverer a price range. So they will not go above that price so that it will be cost effective for the user. Thank you for your time. You can ask your questions. A not so swift delivery from Agumba, owner of mobile based delivery platform Lomba Swift Limited. He's hoping the Lions would buy into his startup with an investment of 15 million naira in exchange for a 10% stake. Peeking into her notes from the long introduction, Adenike Ogunlisi wastes no time questioning how Agumba intends to distribute the investment he seeks. So what do you need this money for? The money will enable us to expand our routes. It will also enable us to drive our marketing activities. It will enable us to take care of management costs and overhead costs. It will also enable us to take care of our route agents. There are some areas that regular logistics uh, companies don't reach. So we are setting up a desk office there then we assign a route coordinator who will be there helping those farmers to send their items through our platform and also bringing people too who want to travel through that location who is coming in and going out because it is the movement of people that enables our service. The passionate entrepreneur overruns the lions with his detailed list of deliverables. Now, Paul Owanibe is keen to understand the details behind the numbers. Let me just get into some of the numbers um, so I understand them. Um, so you talked about the algorithm yeah, in, in pricing, yeah? So it's a combination of, of miles and weights, yes? I fly into the country, I get to the airport, I can't wait for my bags, I just go home. I go online, I say pick up my bags from the airport and bring to my house. What's the price for that? To tell me, what, it, what is it, roughly? From airport to here, 30 kg is 1,005. Of that 1,500 naira, how much goes to the the person who carries it, and how much do you get? We, as that, we get fifteen. Uh, first, we get five percent from you, the user. So you're gonna you charge me five yes. percent for using our platform. Then the deliverer will not take five percent, ten percent of that one five from the deliverer. How how is that calculated? You are saying from the other side and this side. It's, who, it's only one it's side. It's only one side. Payment. Only one side can pay. Let me just ask mm -hmm. something. As you are paying. That five percent will be calculated and added and adds to the. So you're paying one five seven five. Yes, uh, it makes sense. So technically, you're taking five percent from me and then ten percent from Correct. the deliverer. Correct. 
the business you've d- described seem very tight, very quite thought through, but I'm still worried about a few things. Number one is frosters can infiltrate your system and just wait for me to send in, say, an item what, uh, that is expensive so they can defraud you and move. Is there an insurance element? And part B of my question is, does your app incorporate tracking? The website is what we used to track. So the no, web- me, yes, me as uh, yes, in, yes, 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 you, as you register as a, as a user, the tracking is already there because we have enabled it. You can know where exactly where the, the deliverer is from the comfort of your home. The aspect that you've not answered for me is the insurance aspect. Have you thought it through? Okay, let me use um <clears throat> No, 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 don't yeah. use any. Let's say yes or no. Is okay, a yes okay, or no. Okay. Okay. If it's not there, just say it's not there because it can be incorporated. It's not there for now. So you're going to be paying me for consultancy then. <laughs> <laughs> Dan playfully secures a consultancy position at Lombard Swift. But Adenike wants to get serious with the numbers. So what are the numbers? What are the figures? How much do you turn over on a monthly basis? Yes, we have, we have run the... 100 delivery, worth over 500,000. If the company is worth 150 million naira, it should be making, um, help me out here, Kiari, 15 million naira? 15 <laughs> million naira. Million, 15 million naira revenues, yeah, um, profits. Uh, profit, profits, actually. Right, so mm, yeah. to get to a profit of, of 15 million naira a year, what turnover does he have to make if it's 15%? He needs to carry a billion naira of turnover. To get to a billion naira of turnover, how many passes do you have to deliver on average 10 kg parcels. Our target is to grow our customer base to 100,000 customers. In one in, period of in time? 12, in 12 months. And 1 million customers in 24 months. Since we charge 400 Naira, if you multiply 400 by 1,000, that is 40 million monthly projection. So with that, we are projecting our company to be making 40 million monthly in the next 12 months. And by the time we grow it to 1 million, we project that the company monthly projection in the next 25 months will rise to 100 million to 500 million. With that, it's a sure banker that 50 million investors will be generated in the next 12 months. 12. 24, 24, you know, 24, 24, 24. 24. So your valuation that you've given us today, we will get to it, it's futuristic, we'll get to it in 24 months time, that's what you're saying. Yes? So why did you give us the valuation today instead of in 24 months time? Another snag in the road for Agumba, as Paul Wanibe is left unimpressed with his rich valuation. But is serial investor Bolaji Balogun still willing to jump the hurdle and go the distance with the entrepreneur? So I like this, but um, I, I worry that it's a niche product. I'm not sure this is a nationally, not to talk of even a regionally scalable product. You will have to make a number of changes for this to be scalable and significant. Because I like how you dimension this problem. I just think there are a lot of things that you underestimated and it's just, you know, wide open with risks. Um, for all of those reasons only, I will not be investing and I'm out, um, but I really want to commend you. Convinced that Lombard Swift cannot scale beyond local consignment, Bolaji Balogun is the first lion to drop off. Would Paul or Wanibe follow suit or take a different route? I really like this. Um, and I'd like, I, I would like to, like to actually make you an offer, um, but my offer will have three dimensions to it. I'd like to make you an offer for the whole of the 15 million, um, structured in a way that I get the 15 million back, yes? Over, over a 24 month period. I want to make an offer for the, to give you the whole of the 15 million for 50% of the company um, on the basis that two of my lions um, join me for equal shares. Paul Owanibe makes an offer with conditions, 
four times more than the 10% equity the entrepreneur is willing to give, and an invitation for two lions to join. Would Adenike Ogunlesi accept the invitation? Aumba, I think um, that you are an excellent um, solution provider. So you've been able to think through the system um, to solve all the different problems that could possibly happen. But I think you're going to need more than 15 million Naira to solve this problem. And I think you're going to have a logistics nightmare that you never imagined possible. But on, on the basis of those concerns, I will not be investing, so I'm out. Adenike bows out of the deal, leaving two lions, Kiari Booker and Dan Ngarem, to either join Paul's offer or make their own. Would Kiari Booker ride along with Lombard Swift or end the trip? Orumba, I like your tenacity. Um, you are creating you know, something that ought to be disrupting the logistics business. However, the, the people that came in earlier have taken advantage. And for those reasons, I'm out. Well, um, Paul talked about three lions, but um, if he's still interested that two lions can work on this, uh, Paul, what did you say was the equity base? Yes, um, 50, asking for 50%. Um, yes. We get, um, our, we get our money back, but zero coupon. Yes. Uh, I'm willing to join him. Yep, I will. I will do two lions. An unexpected turn as Dan pairs up with Paul on his offer. But is the logistics app business owner willing to part with half of his company in order to get the lions to travel the roads with him? Thank you very much, um, Mr. Paul. I would like you to be part of Lombards. You are Mr. Dan. But I want, to, I want you to look into the equity, because 50% is way too much. Why not join us with 15%? With what? 15%. 15? Did you say 15? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're interested in governance rights, not necessarily the economics rights. If it's successful, we'll all do well, right? So we want to be able to govern the company to do the things that we want it to do. You know, corporate governance, corporate governance international corporate, best practices. Corporate governance. So it, what we could do is, as long as we have governance rights, the final voting rights on the board, right? So 51% of governance rights, we will pair down to 25% of the financial rights once you give us our money back times two. So we put 15 million in today, right? Over 24 months, you give us 30 million back. You keep 75% of the company, we're 25%. In that 24 months, we, we, we will control the board. Okay, let's do it like this. After 24 months, you get your money back. Both of you will retain 15% equity. How about that? To save time. Um, Maybe we'll do 10% each. Last offer. Accepted. Fantastic. Okay. Lion's Den is proudly sponsored by Ecobank and Chapel Hill Denim and supported by Bank of Industry and Development Bank of Nigeria with the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service as strategic partner. Mm -hmm.